John the Tech here with this two minute how to video. We're going to look at how to use the navigation on our T style radar replacements. So you've got a navigation key right here on top. Now, if you don't see the navigation, you just got to swipe your bar here across so you see navigation. Select navigation. Now, your unit's going to come preloaded with iGo next gen navigation. And that navigation is not going to require any data from your phone. It's all downloaded into the unit. Uh, you'll hit navigation, and then everything's all touch screen. You're going to be able to do a new route if you want to find uh, certain places you want to go to. Everything's all just like a normal navigation. Now, one thing that sets us apart from any other navigation is you can actually choose a different navigation system to display on here. So let's say that you are someone who prefers Google Maps or maybe that new app Waze. If you go into your settings, your very first option is your navigation settings and you can decide what that navigation key will go to. So let's say you are a Google Maps guy. So you double click Google Maps and say that's what I want to use next time for navigation. And now when you select navigation, it's going to open up Google Maps instead of the iGo navigation. And the same thing will happen with the Waze. If you're a Waze person and you want to make Waze your app, you would download the app from the App Store, go ahead and select it, and again, next time you open up your navigation, instead of being Google Maps or iGo, it's going to open up Waze. Now anytime you use Google Maps or if you use Waze or if you use any other different uh, data-based navigation, you will have to make sure that your phone is tethered via Wi-Fi. It will track your vehicle, uh, but you won't get any of the instant updates that uh, these applications uh, offer that some of the other navigations don't with, uh, with Waze, with the uh, alerts for hazards, the alerts for uh, different traffic patterns. In order for all of those features to work, you will have to use your phone's hotspot uh, paired to the to the unit itself but once that's paired uh, you're good to go so this is our two minute how to on the navigation for our t-style unit we have other two minute how to's on how to use the am and fm how to uh, put music on a usb and, and listen to music or watch videos from usb how to use the bluetooth the climate control how to add different applications to your system how to mirror your phone how to use the internet uh, browser uh, so check out some of those other videos check out some of the videos on some of our other features some of our other interfaces uh, and you can keep track of what we have coming out with all of our new stuff on facebook and twitter uh, follow us there we're at uh, uh, links well link.